Today we're going to look at what your Google Gmail gives you access to. Uh, first up, we're going to go to google.com. And with the Google Gmail that was given to you by the school, we are going to go to the sign in. Now, this spot should be blank. If there is something there, you can double click and highlight it. Hit the backspace or the delete key. And if there's a password there, you can do the same. And you can type in your Google Gmail. Mine is right here. You type it in. If your password pops up, good. Uh, if not, you need to put in your password. Now, if you are on a public computer or if you're on one of the school's computers, uh, not one of the Chromebooks in um, Mr. Denham's class, but if you're on a computer somewhere else in the school, you're going to want to unselect Stay Signed In. But if you're on one of the Chromebooks in Mr. Denham's class, you can leave this option checked because you have your own account on there. And that was a separate step, which um, it's okay to stay signed in. Or if you're at your house or in your own personal computer or family computer, you can click the stay signed in. What that means is that your information is going to stay there. So when you go back to it, this will be there. Now, once your information is in, click sign in. The purpose for this tutorial is just to show you uh, the options that are available to you with your Google Gmail. So the first thing I want to bring your attention to is when you sign in, you'll know that you've signed in correctly. You'll see your image or your avatar or your icon. Um, it's all the same thing. Uh, you can click right here and you can see, okay, that's me. That's my name. That's my Gmail. And this was the avatar or the picture or the image that I chose from my profile. Uh, if next to your bell, this little alert bell, if you have a one or a number next to it, this means that you are active on Google+, Plus, which is something you're going to use in your classes with your classmates and your teachers. It's going to be a way of um, interaction, a way of online communication. Uh, if you see a number next to it, that means that something that you reply to or somebody's replying to something that you did. So either you reply to somebody else's and they're letting you know that they saw what you did or somebody's replying to something you did with Google+. Plus. You see a one, you can click and you'll see that somebody's in, uh, also commented on something I'm, I commented on. Okay, so that's what this is. It's an alert bell. Now what I want to focus on is this toolbar these features at the top because this is what you're going to be using the school year in uh, your junior high classes. Now the first one you're going to see your name with a plus next to it, plus D David. Uh, if you click on it this brings you to uh, Google Plus. This is if you hear people talk about um, Google Circles or Google Hangout it's all underneath this right here. It's called Google Plus. Um, now, if you are if you're just got your email and you haven't been messing around with it too much, um, yours is going to be blank because you haven't started interacting with uh, other people, other classmates, other teachers. Um, so this is the Google Plus. This is what it's talking about. This is, this is the feature that you'll hear me and uh, some of your other teachers talk about uh, because we've been using it throughout the summer. Okay, the next thing is something that we all should be familiar with, and that's the Google search. Um, standard search engine. engine. Uh, you put in the information that you want, and Google brings up um, a list of websites. Uh, same as the search engine, this one isn't looking for websites, it's looking for images. So, for example, if you need a picture of a Chromebook, I'm sorry, if you need a picture of a Chromebook, type in Chromebook. Uh, you can hit enter or you can hit the search button and we have a um, a lot of images of Chromebooks. Okay, scroll back to the top. Uh, your next feature is maps. 
This is something that if you're not familiar with, your parents are probably very familiar with. When you travel, uh, when you're trying to find new locations, new businesses, um, this is something that we're going to use, especially in Louisiana history this year as we uh, discover our state. Uh, the next feature is Play. This is an app store. Uh, if you have any Google or Android devices, there is there are items, there's games, there's all kind of stuff that you can download to those devices. Um, okay, the next feature is something that we're familiar with: the world's largest um, online video library, YouTube. It's also um, on YouTube. This is the world's largest classroom. More people learn from YouTube than they do from any other online source. Um, so it is crazy for us not to use it this school year in class. Okay, um, you notice the toolbar, toolbar went away at the top. We're going to hit back. And just in a quick overview, we have Google News. This collects news articles from all around the world. We'll be using this this school year. Um, all, all kind of categories of the world, the U.S., business, technology, uh, sports, health. Okay, the next option is your Google Gmail. And this is where you will send and receive emails. Okay, a list of emails. Um, Compose is where you would start a new email to send to somebody. Now that's going to be a separate tutorial. We won't be use. I won't be going into that right now. But that's under Gmail. Okay, your next feature is Drive. Now this is going to be the most useful aspect of Google for the school year in your classroom. It's the Google Drive. Uh, here is where you will. It's almost like a desktop computer. You can save information. You can save pictures, documents, spreadsheets, PowerPoint, stuff you make, and stuff that other classmates or your teacher makes. Um, you can, this is a spot where everything can be stored and it can be looked at. From here, you have Create, where you, if you need to type something, a document to send to a teacher, or a report that you're working on for something else. Um, all of that's built into here. All of that comes with your Gmail that is given to you by the school. Okay. Uh, next on the list you have Calendar, which in at least in Mr. Denham's social studies class, you won't be using the Gmail calendar because there's one built into Shifter. But you may use this maybe personally just to keep track of the extracurricular activities and your other classes. Uh, there's Google Calendar, which I may do a separate tutorial on that one for you. Okay, from there, you can click on more, and there's two more things I want us to look at. One, uh, well, let's see, both of them are photos and videos. This is where, if you go back and look at the Google Drive, there is an option for you to upload files. That can be pictures, videos, documents, PowerPoints. You can click on it, click on files, and if you're on a Chromebook or if you're on a laptop or even if you're on your phone there's an app for this even if you're on your phone you can upload stuff from your device okay. now if you go and you click on photos anything photos that I've uploaded to my Gmail account will appear here which I don't have any I may have one that I use for my YouTube background I have this one right here some cavemen kinda hanging out Okay, uh, before I close out this tutorial, very, very important. You're going to want to go back to your, like when you're done with being in Gmail, being on the Google Drive, if you're not on your own device, like on your phone or your own laptop, or if you're not on the Chromebook in the social studies class, you're going to want to sign out. So you're going to click on your name, and from there, there is a tab that says sign out, click it, okay, and when you 
sign out, it's going to bring you back to the, um, here we go, brings you back to where you started.